This is a video about advanced roundabouts in Yeovil. Let us look at the hospital roundabout first. When you're approaching a roundabout, look out for signs. There may be get in lane signs which tell you which lane to be in for the direction you want to go. If there's more than one lane for your direction, it's normally best to choose the furthest left lane. Did you notice? You can go right from the middle lane or from the right hand lane. Look at the road markings that confirm this. If you are going to use the furthest left lane, you'll need to stay in the outside lane of the roundabout. Keep checking your right door mirror and be aware of traffic who may try and cut in front of you. This clip shows somebody doing just that. Watch the grey car go from the right hand lane and cut in front of us. If you're aware that this can happen and you're checking your mirrors, you can avoid an incident. As you chose the furthest left lane to enter, you must now choose the furthest left lane to exit. We're now coming back towards the hospital roundabout from the Yeovil College roundabout. Look at the road markings and the get in lane sign. Then there's two lanes to turn right, the middle lane and the right hand lane. More road markings here confirm this. Remember, whichever lane you choose to enter the roundabout, choose the same lane to exit. Looking ahead at your exit lane will help you with this. Keep checking your mirrors. Is anybody trying to cut in front of you? Pick up speed. If you did choose to enter and exit in the right hand lane, move back to the left lane as soon as it's safe. You're now on the dual carriageway, going past Tesco's. There may be traffic coming out of Tesco's who want to enter the dual carriageway. Remember you have priority. Don't change lane unless you've checked your mirrors and it's safe to do so. A better option is to reduce your speed slightly. We're now approaching Horsey Roundabout. There are no get in lane signs on the approach. Look at the road markings though. It's quite clear what lane you can take for your direction. We're turning right, third exit. You've chosen the furthest left lane to enter the roundabout. So stay in the outside lane, check your mirrors, and make sure no one's trying to cut in from the right hand lane in front of you. Back to the hospital roundabout. There is no problem if you want to choose the right hand lane for the direction that you want to go. As long as you choose the inside lane to go around the roundabout and then exit in the right hand lane. Once you're on the dual carriageway, pick up speed. Notice the speed limit is 40 mile an hour. And then plan to get back to the left hand lane as soon as it's safe. We're now approaching the horsey roundabout from the town centre. Notice the roundabout sign. and the road markings. We need the right hand lane to turn right. Drive around the inside of the roundabout, check your mirrors and signal left as you pass the exit before the one you want to take. Notice there are two lanes to exit the roundabout, but these two lanes very quickly merge to become one lane. Keep checking your mirrors to be aware of anybody who might be trying to cut in. Build your speed and plan to get back to the left hand lane as soon as it's safe. We're on our way back to the hospital roundabout. Look for road signs and road markings. To turn left, we don't need to give way, but keep checking your mirrors 
to be aware of anybody who might be coming to try and cut in in front of you. And look at the bus stop on the left. Is there a bus trying to pull out? Finally, remember the most important thing is to be safe. So if you're in the wrong lane, then it's safer to go the wrong way. Use your mirror, signal, position, speed, look routine well. Choose a safe time to enter the roundabout and choose the exit that's suitable for the lane that you're in.